What's up, wishers? Welcome to Wishers Tea Time, where we not only make tea, we also make coffee with the same time. So today, we're actually going to be doing Rate My Drink, featuring one of our crew members. We don't know who yet because it's an eeny, meeny, miny, mo situation. But today's drink is going to be one of my favorites, and also one of the drinks that I don't usually drink because it is espresso, and I get really hyper. And we don't need that at work because it's already like a fast-paced environment. But yeah, so it's an iced hazelnut latte, and this is also, believe it or not, this is also the first time I'm using this um, portable espresso maker. So hopefully it turns out okay. If not, that's okay too. It's only, it's only here. I'm not like I'm gonna open a shop. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But first step, wash your hands. I already did that, so we're gonna do that later on if we get our hands dirty. But yeah, so I have this tin can here, and it's espresso. You don't gotta know what kind of espresso, but just whatever espresso you want. Um, this thing here already has a little scoop thing, so you use the scoop it comes with, and you, oh, oh, I made a spillage, already a mess, everyone. And then in the instructions, it says you use this to like, flatten it out I guess and I'm making more spillage but that's that's barista life for you so now it's here and then you put it down and you like tamp it in for a stronger shot that's how you make a shot moving on <laughs> wait let's clean it up let's be professional you know I need one of those brushes I need a brush so then you do that and then you open this thing here this is where you put the water this is already hot i promise you can't see it but there's steam going do you want 50 or 80 mls 80 sounds good so that happened Okay, safe. Then you put it in this container, just push it in there, and now we pump. There's a clear glass here. Oh, it dropped. It's said to wait five seconds to let the espresso bloom so you get all that flavor. I think it's been five seconds, and then you just keep pumping until it all comes out. Ugh. Work out. <laughs> Arm day. How do I know if it's done? How many ounces did I put? How many ounces are 80 mLs? 30 mLs is... I don't know, man. I should know this, but... Ugh. Okay, I guess we just keep pumping until nothing comes out. Oh, I think it's done. I think it's done. Please sponsor us so I can buy an espresso machine. <laughs> okay, so that's done. Let's see. Oh, I guess I can't take it out. But here it is. Beautiful shot, beautiful shot. You have a little layer on the top of the foam. They call that something, but I forgot what it's called. So yeah, I'm not gonna try it because I can't, I can't. Um, and then we're gonna use this hazelnut powder that I got from somewhere that you don't need to know because they don't sponsor us. But if they do, then I will put their logo right here. But this is my favorite. Um, you can use this with or without milk. That's the kind of drink it is. You can use it with milk. You can use it without milk. I usually do it without milk because I'm lactose intolerant, but you don't need to know that, I'm sorry too much information. So I think four is good. Then, let's pour it here. Oh no, I spilled. <laughs> it's okay. Stuff happens. You're just not gonna get your full shot. It's okay, I added extra just because of that. I do have a frother here, but I'm too scared to use it because of this. But since there's already this, maybe I should use it. 
Okay. And then pull out the milk. We have the milk. So because I knew this was gonna happen, I just felt like it was gonna happen. I am a Girl Scout and I prepared another one that is the actual amount. So we'll use this one, but that's really how you make it. <laughs> See, be prepared guys, be prepared. And then technically you shouldn't mix it. You should let the person mix it, but I'm going to mix it and then I'm going to spill and it's going to be a whole situation again. Do you want an extra shot of espresso? No? All right. Suit yourself. I think it'll taste better with the extra shot. Of you do? Is it going to fit? Sort of looks like chocolate milk. Okay. So, I would like to introduce you to our testing crew member. His name is Saris, and it's. Oh no! I broke your lid! Hey. All right. So, the scale is zero to 10. Zero, like, you can choose the numbers in between, obviously, but zero means maybe I should not be a barista. 10 means I should probably open up a store in the future. And then any number in between, you just tell me. Be honest, though. Be honest. I want to know. Is it good? Actually? I'll give it an honest 9.3. Really? That That's cool. But you also don't drink coffee a lot, so... You do? I do. And this is like... Mmm. You want to try it too? It's good. We're gonna open up a coffee shop, and it's not gonna be tea time. That yeah, that one does have an extra shot, so it's good. All right, guys, success hazelnut latte. You can catch it on the tea time menu. And with that being said, that's it. So. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to our Wishers Tea Time for this week. We obviously made coffee, but we also do make tea, just not this episode. So with that being said, once again, my name is Tej, and this is Wish USA. Wishers, keep on wishing. Bye.